Good morning, folks. We're starting at the Scientific Visualization Studio. The former Lagrange Point Orbiter was transitioned to be a comet watcher when its mission was over. But of note, coming up this summer, the spacecraft will make a very close approach to the planet Earth for the first time in many years. After that, we're at the alert map. Ubinas Volcano has raised alert to orange on thoughts of continued eruptive activity there. When I pull the Earthwind map, let me clarify we're at the top layer of the stratosphere. 10 HPA layer. And if you know your stuff, you're likely wondering where the polar vortex is. That looks like the southern polar airflow the last few months. Well, it was a slow transition as the equinox passed, but if you remember that the vortex looked very strong in the north during the winter, well, that's what we now see down south, where it was calm. The vortex dances back and forth as the seasons change. North will now be calmer as it tilts into the current sheet, south picking up that force. After days of quiet sun, we took an M flare and minor CME last night that we will come back to in the space weather section, but quickly note that it ramped the Uyen system factor slightly, and after days without tropical formation, we're now focusing on two systems, one in the eastern Indian Ocean and the other north in the West Pacific. To the south of that, New Zealand had those warnings bear out severe weather. There's no sign that everyone is out of the woods today as the system remains and draws its power from the north air, expected to stay relatively in place tonight. Cloud line, most visible coming off the North Atlantic across northern Europe, with a swirl also visible coming off the Mediterranean. Pulling the pressure overlay to find the lows at work absolutely, the strong one up north driving the line, and a small confined system down over the water. Apart from some flash flood events in the northeast and north of the border, it was a calm day in the U.S., and that should continue today. The central low is only moderately powerful, and snow should be the bigger concern than storms. I'd also like to point out a bit of focus at the Alaskan and West Canadian coastlines. Those lows own that part of the world today. At least it should be a lot warmer than usual, drawing that much from the south. We'll jump right into the sunspots. We're seeing new baby spots every few hours, and the established regions continue to grow, but they fade in and out of complexity as it's diminished a bit since the M flare, with the incoming spots offering no real aid whatsoever. Important to note that more flaring at the southern lead could ramp polar radiation as our magnetic connection to the sun is almost dead on there, but as I said, since the M flare, we've lost complexity. A coronal stream is likely impacting Earth this morning. It's nothing to be concerned with, but high density with ramping speed in the wake indicated a potential leading shock ahead of a coronal hole stream of speedier particles. The latest coronal hole itself is not of much power, moderate only compared to the polar coronal holes. And the reason? These holes require gaps in the blue coronal fields and the lower umbral fields connecting sunspots. Well, those bright central spots grew up and their umbral magnetics are blocking that hole from affecting Earth as much as it otherwise might have. As for the M flare itself, it was merely an M1, but it came from that complexity we eyed yesterday morning and was almost directly Earth facing. It was preceded by a minor coronal destabilization trailing the Delta class magnetics, and it sent plasma forward into the system and resulted in the flare. It will not be major by any stretch, but it is indeed heading for Earth. Right now, Mars and Mercury are on opposite sides of our planet. Mercury goes behind the sun in a bit over a week, and then May will be quite a doozy. Last night's upload was very informative for anyone new here or wanting a bit of review, an introduction to climate extremes. Shots of our star to close with plasma filaments dancing electromagnetic above the surface. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.